Hi, my name is Sherry Kyle, and I'm the Director of Content Development here at MedStudy. In the next few minutes, I would like to show you features of our medical student core and Q&As that will help make your studying more effective and focused. The medical student study strong system consists of the core in both print and digital, as well as a basic science or step one Q&A bank and a clinical knowledge or step two CK Q&A bank. And that's all supported by MedCity's personal trainer. I'd like to give you a tour through our core and Q&A products, starting with our core. The core consists of 20 booklets in alphabetical order that covers the subjects you see here on the left. The medical content in each booklet is organized with foundational basic science content first, for example, anatomy, physiology, embryology, and that's followed by clinical topics. So if you're studying basic science, you should focus more on the foundational content at the beginning of each booklet and then focus on only particular aspects of the clinical information presented later on. And if you're studying clinical knowledge, you may want to review some foundational content when needed, but should focus mostly on the clinical aspects in the later part of the booklets. Each clinical section begins with a career focus. This summarizes the specialty and provides insights into different career paths you could take. This is followed by our Hear It From a Specialist feature. And these are actual interviews we did with specialists who contributed to this product. And this allows you to peek inside the life of a specialist to see what they enjoy and also what they find difficult about their specialty and also get some helpful advice about being a physician. This is followed by a list of abbreviations a list of abbreviations appears at the beginning of each section, and this provides a reference of all the abbreviations used in the section. And then physicians have identified the good to know abbreviations, and these appear in bold. And these are abbreviations that you should become familiar with. Preview review questions appear at the beginning of topics. These questions allow you to preview the material to see what you know before you study, and then also to review the highest yield material after you study. In our digital core, these questions appear as being appropriate for basic science, indicated by a one, or clinical knowledge, indicated by a two, or both. Answers to the preview review questions are shown by our yellow must-know highlights, and these are in order. So the first highlight is the answer to the first question, the second highlight is the answer to the second question, and so on. The clinical pearls pull out relevant points to help you apply information in a clinical setting. We also have over 460 medical images, including scans, x-rays, and photos, and over 860 exquisitely drawn figures that helps you to visualize relevant content. We use tables and charts that help you organize and summarize complex information quickly. Our bold text shows important lists, defined terms, and memory tricks like mnemonics. In clinical topics, special headings help you navigate to the information you need quickly. So if you want to read about signs and symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, or prognosis, this information is quick and easy for you to find. We also use burgundy text, and this emphasizes certain terms for clarity, just like a professor would totally emphasize key points during a lecture. Now I'm going to jump over to our biostatistics section. In our biostatistics section, we can see another feature, our equations. Key equations sh that should capture your attention are offset in a gray background so you, you can quickly see them and study them. We also have our think it through feature and this provides a sample scenario to walk you through the logic of complex concepts and calculations. And these are most prominently used in our biostatistics section. So now let's talk about our Q&As. The medical student Q&As are designed to challenge your understanding of high yield topics and exercise your critical thinking skills. Our Q&As are interlinked with our digital core content. So let me show you how that works. Here I am in our digital core content in the, in the section of cardiology, looking at the angina topic. So after I've read the angina topic, I can choose to then go and answer any Q&As we have re related to angina from the basic sciences indicated by a one, or any Q&As we have really related to angina on clinical knowledge um, indicated by a two. So here, if I go and click the one, I'll get two basic science Q&As to test my knowledge of high yield concepts in angina. So after I've read my um, vignette and answered the question and read through my explanation, I can also click this link, which interlinks back to our digital core. So perhaps I didn't do very well on this question and I wanna go back and study more. 
um, I can just click this. That'll take me back to the digital core exactly where I need to read to learn more and study more on this topic. So I'm gonna go back now and look at the basic science Q and A's to talk about some of the features in our Q and A's. So after reading the vignette, the question, and considering the answer options, you can choose to click on the hint feature. And the hint feature is designed to work like a tutor that gives you a clue from the vignette of what you should be focusing, focusing on to better understand the patient case. There are a few helpful features also in our answer options. We have a strike through feature, which helps you to eliminate certain distractors so that you can narrow down your answer option. We also have a confidence indicator. So after I choose my answer, I can select, I don't know it, I'm unsure, or I know it. And this allows me um, in the reporting at the end of my session to see how often I was confident about my correct answers or how often I was confident about my incorrect answers. And this helps me to better focus my studying on where I don't have confidence or where I was getting questions wrong. We also have percentage reporting, which allows me to see how I'm performing in comparison to my peers who are also using this Q&A bank. So we can see here that 47% of my peers um, also chose this as the correct answer. Then we have the explanation portion, and this helps you understand why the correct answer is correct and why the distractors are incorrect. And our Q&A finishes with the testing point, and this summarizes the learning point of the Q&A and allows you to go back and study it in more detail if needed. This medical student study strong system was designed with you and your studying needs in mind, and we really hope you enjoy using it.